Hi everyone, I'm Sanjana from Sales Handy and today we'll be learning about email sequences and how exactly one can create an email sequence in the latest version of Sales Handy. So let's find out how. So in order to create your very first step, click on the Add Step button over here, key in your desired subject line. You can use custom fields from here and you can use emojis as well from here. In case you want to use pre-saved templates, you can select a template from here and your template will successfully be loaded on here instead of manually typing out the content. And you can send out a test email from here and you can change the number of days between the emails in your steps to suit your email campaign. And then just press on save. So in case you want to use A-B testing, you can click on the A-B test button over here and add in the content of your email. So let me show you what an ongoing A-B test sequence looks like. So I will be referring back to some of our older sequences. So let me click on this one. And as you can see, the other variant of the A-B testing is shown over here. A-B testing has loads of benefits. With A-B testing, you will see higher conversion rates and lower bounce rates. A-B testing provides you with an insight into the mind of the prospect and helps you understand what's working and what's not. Once you're done creating the steps for your email, you can move on to the next step, which is importing the prospects list. So click on the prospects button over here and then click on add prospects. So there are two ways you can do this. You can either do this via the importation of a CSV file or you can add in your prospects manually. So let's click on CSV file, select the file that you want and then click on next and your prospects list has successfully been uploaded and then click on next again and as you can see over here we have an email verification process so if you see a check mark next to the email of your prospect that means the email is verified and if you see an explanation point it usually means that there is a higher chance of bounce rates and as you can see over here we have tags and tags help you differentiate between your prospects let's say step one emails are meant for the marketing team and step two emails are meant for the sales team so i'm just going to show you i'll just add a tag over here and write sales so this is for the sales team so continue and press on done as you can see over here, your prospect list is still being verified. It's still in progress. You can always come back and take a look at it later and you will see which emails have been verified and which have not been verified. If you wish to monitor the performance of your email sequence, click on the emails tab over here and you will be able to get detailed analytics of each and every single email at each step. Right now we have not activated the sequence, so right now there is no data, but once the sequence is activated, there will be plenty of data for you to look at. In the settings tab, you can modify the settings of your email sequence as per your preference. So if you wanna change the schedule, you can change the schedule from here and you can change the primary email sender address from here. There are other settings over here that you can always tweak, and if you're satisfied, click on Save. Your email sequence is all set and ready to be sent. So the last thing we need to do is click on this little toggle button over here to activate our sequence. Click on Yes, and your sequence has been activated successfully. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at help at saleshandy.com and we will get back to you at our earliest convenience. Bye-bye until next time.